Ferris. Hi, Fred. I ben hier. I'm here. Hi. Can you hear me? Yes. First, uh, let me introduce you. For the people who don't know you, yes. you are uh, Fred Nijhuis, your favorite Dutch wine writer. <laughs> yes. And um, you're a specialist in Italian wines, but uh, you know a lot of, uh, all, uh, of all the wines of the world. Like uh, Moldova, the wines uh, we, were, we are going to taste now. But yes. fill me in something about yourself. By the way, we are oh. speaking, uh, we are both Dutch, but we speak in the English language uh, to, in order to be understood uh, also in people in uh, Moldova and Romania and the rest of the world. So, Fred, something about you. Um, what about me? Um, basically, I do everything with wine except trade in it. So I don't buy or sell anything. My specialism is education. I try to educate people on wine. Um, I have a specialism on Italian wines, but I taste everything that is available. So I taste every wine that I can put my nose in the glass. Um, and I was in Moldova um, about a year ago. And I did two tastings in the Netherlands with wines from Moldova. So that's why I'm here. Yes. And you, you wrote two uh, very interesting uh, articles on your website about the wines from, from yes. Moldova and the wine country. It is very, uh, uh, how do you say, uitgebreid. <laughs> it's a, it's, it was an extended yeah, uh, is, article, like, yes. So, yes, you, you really have to go... And when you didn't, when you read uh, Dutch, you, you had to have to go to the web, website fredneihuis.nl and read the articles. It's very interesting. But perhaps for now, you can tell a little bit about uh, Moldova and your experience in Moldova and the, and the, 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 the country. Um, I was there about a year ago uh, during a press trip. And um, what I found out that is uh, it's a very nice country. Um, uh, I've seen some really nice uh, natural uh, regions, uh, some very nice culture. Um, and I tasted quite a few wines, not only there, but also here in the Netherlands during tastings. Mm -hmm. um, there's a lot of wine. As, as you probably know, that Moldova has a very big production. Uh, a lot of the wines used to go to Russia, but they stopped doing that. So now they want to sell the wines uh, in other parts of the world mm -hmm. and they're looking for new partners uh, in new countries and uh, they have everything that you that you want. They have cheap wines, uh, basic good quality for supermarkets, house wines in restaurants and they have their own uh, specialties, their own great varieties, the ones that you will not find in other countries. So that's very interesting. Yes, and I, I, I think the, the wine we are going to taste is uh, one of those uh, interesting uh, uh, local grape varieties. Yeah, it's a interesting uh, grape variety, even though it's not from Moldova, uh, but it's from uh, Georgia. Yeah. Yes, yes. Um, uh, the Saparavi grape, uh, famous from Moldova, uh, from uh, Georgia, but it's also planted in a few other regions around uh, Georgia, including Moldova. Yeah. And the crazy thing about this grape, normally the blue grapes, they have uh, white uh, juice, but this one has red juice. So it's a tenturier, oh. it's a colored uh, grape. And okay. uh, Saparavi, the name in Georgia, is all, is, is, comes from, uh, you could say, paint or dye. Uh, okay. Dye is in, in, in coloring. So it oh, has right. a okay. very nice color. That is why it's used to also to, to uh, make other wines a little bit more interesting, give it more color. Okay, yes, that's why, the, that's why this wine is so dark purple. Yes, there's a lot of color, uh, which is normal for the grape. That's the, it's, it's interesting to, to talk about color these days, of course, because a lot of things are happening with yeah. colors around the world. And it used to be, I used to, I came up with a, 
crazy term many years ago called wine racism, where the white people, uh, they, they said that wine had to be black. If the wine was not black, okay. it was a bad wine. So nowadays we have the, the, almost the opposite. Everyone is looking for very elegant, transparent uh, colors, um, which is uh, giving more finesse, more complexity in general. But this grape yeah. is, uh, has red juice, a lot of color also in the skin. So it's very natural for this uh, wine to have a, a darker color. It's not just yes. technique, not uh, made, it's no, uh, no makeup wine. No. And, and when you see the color, it's but, but later about the wine. This is from the winery uh, Gitana. That's a family owned yes. uh, winery. Did you, did you visit yes. them also? In, uh, okay. No, I didn't visit them. No, no. They took over the winery in 99. Uh, it was established in 53. So in the middle of uh, the, the time when the Russians were uh, present in the Moldova. Uh, but they took it over in 99. As, as, as that was the big change in Moldova with many people um, starting new businesses, taking over from, from the government, uh, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, and it's, it's, uh, it's, a, it's a huge uh, uh, company. They have a lot of uh, vineyards, like almost yes, it's Yes, uh, yeah, but that's quite normal in Moldova because it really, everyone has a huge amount of vineyards. Uh, hmm. It's very hard to find a small producer. Okay. There are okay, small so producers, are... of course. The boutique wineries, they were coming more popular, but the, 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 most of the wineries are quite large, quite big. Okay, okay. And do you know uh, this wine, how it is produced? Like, is this also in um, Yeah, it is, it is the grape from, uh, from uh, Georgia, the Sapravi, and also the technique they used is more or less from, uh, from Georgia. In Georgia, they have the big, uh, the quavery, the very big clay mm -hmm. containers that are buried in the soil, in the ground. Yes. Uh, this made, this one is made in amphora. And the difference between amphora and quavery is, quavery is very big and it's impossible to, to move it. Amphora are used to, to put wine and to, to move the wine from one place to another. That's why the, the Romans, etc., they use the amphora as as uh, barrels were used in the in the past yes okay and uh, the, the amphoras do they also bury them in the ground or do you know that no not that i know i know the, the amphora normally they are just above the ground yeah. hmm. it uh, does not make any sense to to bury them because they're too small in general yeah. it's yeah. easier to work with them uh, yeah. just uh, above the ground yes okay well, shall we talk about the wine? Yes, why not? Let's taste it. <laughs> like, I, like you said, the color is, uh, yes, tears. The color is, uh, is, 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 is vivid, it's purple. It's a 17. Um, it has some slight evolution, but just a little bit. Uh, the evolution is more in the nose than in the, in the, in the, in the color. You have the 17? Uh, the 17, I have the 17, yes. I have the. Uh, I think. Oh, I, I have to check because uh, I just put the bottle away. So. Oh. <laughs> it's uh, quite warm in the Netherlands at the moment. It's uh, more than twenty-five at the moment. Mm. So I, I took the, the 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 bottle in a more cooler place. Otherwise, it yes. will be too warm. Also, because this is a quite rich wine with uh, quite a high alcohol percentage. Mm -hmm. And that's then you want to keep the, the wine at a decent uh, temperature, not too warm. Yeah. yeah. It's very aromatic. It is a bit uh, rustic. The, you, don't, you don't have any wood flavors because it was not aged in wood. Uh, but the, the, the amphora and also the grape, they have, um, they have a little bit of, um, they have a bit of rustic flavors. It's not very elegant or, or very, uh, all of tiny fruit things. This is quite sturdy wine. Yes. Uh, goes well with barbecue. Great with this yeah. weather, of course. And also in the yeah. mouth, you have the same, uh, the same, uh, the same yeah. Uh, experience. Yeah, it is. It is very fruity, like dark fruit, blueberries, but also very spicy. 
I yes, also like forest juniper. fruit, dark fruit, juniper. also some red fruit. Yeah, and also a bit fresh, uh, fresh white pepper. And really, the the, the alcohol is fourteen and a half percent, I think. Yes. Yeah. Yes, so it's uh, sufficient, yeah. as they say. Hmm? <laughs> yeah. But what you say in summer, you can better chill it a bit because it gives a, a warmth uh, indeed in the mouth. Yes. It's very forward, straightforward, a lot of fruit. Um, it has a nice tannin structure, not, nothing too big. It's not too dry in the, in the mouth. Yeah. Also because uh, there is no wood aging. Sometimes the wood can give more dry uh, uh, aspects, more dry attention in the mouth. Yeah. I don't have that here. No. Fine. Yes, but when you see the, the the color of the wine, you you can expect a very, uh, very big big wine. But it's it's very fine. It's very uh, medium body. It's not, it's not heavy. No, but that's my my criticism on on judging a wine on its color. Uh, the color is just one tiny aspect of everything. Mm. You can have a, a big dark wine with absolutely no no flavor. And you can have a very elegant wine with an amazing complexity. So yes. judging yes. a wine on, on color is like judging people on color. It's yes. ridiculous. Yeah. No, I think it's really a really nice a nice wine. It is um, in the Netherlands. It's sold by Wijsent Wines, Vincent Wines. I yeah, Vincent Wines. Yes. Oh, yeah. Vincent Wines. Vincent is the the traditional uh, buffalo. Uh, it's, it's a it's a big animal. It's a it's a, a country pride. From Moldova? Like okay. the bison in the United States. Okay. <laughs> <So> the animals. <laughs> yeah, the animals, yes. Yeah. Okay. And that's why they are specialists in uh, wines from Moldova, I think, uh, this company. Yes, hmm. yes. Okay. So, do you have some more news about Moldova or... Shall we say well, I hope to be back uh, there uh, soon, and I'm trying to get uh, some more producers to the Netherlands to do um, to do a nice event with them and to show the the, the, the Dutch people that what they can expect from Moldova. And there's yeah. a lot to discover. They have uh, many many grapes that are for us in in Western Europe are a little bit hard to pronounce, but uh, you have the same thing in Romania. Yes. I, I can imagine. Uh, but uh, if you try a little bit, it's uh, absolutely no problem. Yeah, like I can see. Let me check. Uh, one of my favorite uh, grape varieties is the uh, Alto Onichani. Alto <laughs> Onichani. Yeah, w whatever. Uh, it's a, it's a white grape. It's it's amazing, but it's very hard to to pronounce. Okay, and you, you wrote about it in your article on your website, I think. Yeah, it's on the website. Uh, oh. The first part is more on general on Moldova and the grapes. And uh, the second part is on the regions and uh, uh, some, some wineries that I, that I visited or know the wines, tasted the wines. Uh, okay. Interesting wineries. Okay, great. And you are, it's you quite complete. Uh, That's why I had to put it in, uh, in two articles. It was too yes. much for one. <laughs> yeah. And you are trying to organize an event for consumers on uh, wines from Moldova? Yes, yes. Oh. Probably also for the for the trade because they need uh, they need some trade with the Netherlands, some more trade, mm -hmm. and uh, but also for consumers. Yes. Okay, great. Well, keep us posted. And uh, absolutely. We, we're going to, yeah, we're going to taste uh, in a few weeks another wine from uh, from this winery and perhaps more wines from yep. Moldova. Other countries. You never know. Uh, you never know. I get wines every day, and I love to share my experience with uh, yeah. as yes. many as many people as possible. It is very nice uh, listening to you. You are you're, you're, you're speaking very nice uh, about wines, and uh, you have a lot of knowledge. So, for thank now, you. I yes. Well, I, I I tasted a couple of wines with someone last week, and I was not very positive. So, <laughs> but I had to be honest. So. They understood. Yeah. They understood. Okay. Okay. But in but this case, it was uh, not a not a not a problem. 
Okay, great. Super. Maybe not the most complex wine, most, uh, but it's a good wine. And yeah. I love to have it at a barbecue, uh, especially this summer, yeah. slightly chill, yeah. a good wine. And I, I think also with lamb, uh, with a bit of Mediterranean uh, herbs, it yeah. would be nice yeah. also. Yeah, yeah so, it, needs, uh, uh, it needs some food. Yeah. But also, I think for, for restaurants, it's important to have a, a, another, another grape than, um, than uh, Merlot, Cabernet Sauvignon, Chirac. Eh? To, to yes, absolutely. Yeah. So, when I go I to a restaurant, I want to taste something else than what I taste at home. So yeah, I like sure. to be surprised in, uh, in the restaurant. Yeah. Yes. So a lot, to, a lot to do for you and me <laughs> on the wines. It keeps us busy. So okay. that's that's true. Okay, Fred, thank you to be my guest, and I say cheers. To my you. pleasure. And, um, yeah, my glass is empty now, so but I'll <laughs> I'll fill it up again. Okay. Thank you. Have a nice see you day. later. Bye bye. Bye bye.